Alright everybody and welcome to your 50th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at something called remove event listener method in JavaScript and from our last tutorial if you remember we did something called add event listener just like that which just simply binds or technically registered any event with any of the element you have so let's say after some time there's some activity from the user and I don't want the element to react to that particular event at all now so how would you do that so to do that we have remove event listener so to demonstrate this let me first of all quickly create a div to work on and let's create some style tags so that this div is actually visible to you this much should be good and if I view it in the browser you see this green little box right here uh, let's do the script work now now first of all I'll just add an event to this div and let's just say dot add event listener just like that I want it to act on a click div clicked should be the function and the bubbling should be false so I guess I can just split it up into variables so that it's not broken up on the screen so that it might not look like I have pressed enter okay so anyways now I need to create a function div clicked and we'll just alert here nothing fancy div was clicked okay so let's check that out if that even works now you see that we are getting an alert so that's good it's working now what I need to do is after some activity or whatever the user do I don't want this box to be um, following this listener or technically I want to deregister the event listener of click on this div so let's just say I create a button right here I'll just say the register click event simple as that and on this I could actually add event listener to this button as well or this should be sorry um, war button equals document dot query selector button and actually I don't need the ID at all so I'll just say button dot add event listener click um, the register false okay so now let's just quickly create the deregister function which would be called when the button would be clicked now now what I need to do is whenever this button is clicked I want the div this event to be deregistered so I'll just go ahead and type div because I already have the reference to that particular div inside this variable and it's obviously accessible within this function so I'll just type div dot remove event listener now what would this do is it would remove the um, you can say the callback function which is fired on this event so technically it would just say that it would just suppress this event and your code would run like this line right here was never there or it was just commented out so this remove event listener is quite a useful tool sometimes because we even um, sometimes need to work with the user interactions and based on its activities their activities we need to somehow disable some events like if they have already registered somewhere on the site or inside a dashboard they have already completed a task so we don't want that whenever they click that button it pops up and annoys them again and again 
So, anyways, let's just start with this remove event listener. And what we'll do is, just like we did inside our add event listener, we'll write div dot remove event listener. And the second argument would be the function we are dealing with. So this function should be the same one you supplied right there in the add event listener and I'll just explain that in a minute why this has to be. So let's go back to the browser, let's reload this. So if we have got this button, first of all I'll click here. So we see that this event listener is working. Let's click on this button to deregister the click event. Now let's click it on again. So you see now there's no alert popping off. Now the reason why ne we need this second parameter as a function as well because technically you can attach as many events or as many callback functions as you want with on a single element so let's say if I add another function div click 2 right here and I just create this function again I won't be deregistered uh, let's just reload this so when I click this we'll get these the alert box of whoa okay so so when I click this you see that I got alert box of both of these divs but when I will click this button right here to deregister this event even then this event is registered so technically you need here to you need a function here um, to basically deregister an event and one thing I want to tell you guys is that anonymous functions won't work with add event listener and with remove event listener in coordination so if you say like if you do like something like an event an anonymous function right here only which is technically correct but you need a function reference to deregister that function so let's just say I just do a simple alert and I just say div dot remove event listener click and what should be supplied here because we don't have any function so you won't supply like function and alert and don't won't pass the whole reference to that so this code won't work at all because you need to have you need to have a reference to that particular function you are deregistering so that's the basics of how you register and deregister some events with add event listener and remove event listener and I hope you got that cleared and if not then don't um, hesitate to leave comments below in the comments section and I'll love to answer your queries so that's it for now and I'll see you then next time. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.